Welcome everyone, this is Coaching in Session. My name is Michael Reardon, and I will be your Meister Coach today. And today we're gonna be celebrating 400 plus of the podcast. We're gonna be giving our thanks. This one is gonna be a quick one because I do want people to understand that I am eternally grateful for all the support that I have had over these past five years of Revan Concepts, not just Coaching in Session, which has been around, I believe, since 2021. I believe I started it after the pandemic. So maybe in 2020, I'm not sure, but I think I started in 2021. Either or, I have lost track of the podcast. It has been a beast to control, to understand. And I have started many shows since then. And I have more shows coming up in the future. I have so many plans for the podcast and for everyone involved because this is not something that. I can do by myself because when you want to grow something as big as I want to grow, it's like you need to have people there. Think of if you get a huge estate, you need to have someone cleaning the house, you need to have people taking care of the lawn, manicuring it. If you have a pool, the pool guys have to come, cleaners, they clean the pool. If you have maybe pets, you have to have maybe someone come clean the pet, whatever it be. There's many aspects to if you want to have a big fancy life, you might have to have a different type of lifestyle. And what I have determined for the podcast and what I have determined for the podcast is we're going to keep on going the same way. I don't know when I'm going to stop. I think I said before, probably like episode a thousand, but that might be a little bit too much for my plans. I don't know exactly when the plans are going to take fruition. But what I will say is that I know what season two is going to look like. Don't know when season two is going to start. It might start in four years. But what I can tell you is that I know what season two is going to look like. It's going to be very different than the season one reminiscent of the OG coaching in session. We're not going to just have me. It's going to be more of a studio type vibe. We're going to have people who are coaches that have been certified through us here at Reverend Concepts that you're going to be able to be a part of the show. And it's going to be a great way to keep on getting clients. It's going to be a great way for you to grow your business, I believe. And the people that are the host of the show are going to be maybe raffled in. Maybe we can have a vote, something along those lines. And then you get to decide as the people, who do you want to be your next mindset coach? That right there is going to be, as long as the person wants to be in that host position, Of course, they're going to have responsibilities getting the podcast out on time. I mean, et cetera, et cetera, guest, camera, crew. Most of that is going to be taken care of automatically through other plans and processes that I already have set up. You are going to have to come, be present, do the best you can, have valid information, and also have a very similar mindset to what the company's mission and standard is because we're not going to necessarily change our mission as a company. We believe that there are limiting beliefs in the world and we want to eradicate limiting beliefs. The thinking of limiting beliefs are not helpful. So if we can get rid of limiting beliefs or our fears that we give ourselves, imagine how better the world can be. If everyone started pulling their weight, not only in the sense of what they can do for themselves, but what they can do to make the world a better place, imagine all the problems that people have, the violence, the hardships that people are living is going to slowly diminish and then eventually vanish because people are starting to live in a higher frequency. People are starting to live in a better and stronger mindset. It's not so much of, well, I don't feel like doing it today or I am not used to this, so I'm going to give up. This is all about we are making progress, we are growing, and we seek challenge. We don't deviate from it. We seek it. That is going to take a strong mindset. That's going to take a person who understands themselves and understand that it's not going to be an easy road. It's going to be full of long days, full of long nights, but I will sacrifice sleep for you. I will sacrifice sleep for my clients. I will sacrifice sleep if I can make the world a better place. And I understand that I do need to take care of myself and that's why I eat the best I can. I go to the gym minimum five days out of the week. Not saying that you need to live my lifestyle, but understand that your mindset can be stronger than what it is now. And even me, my mindset can be stronger than what it is right now. I remember when I first started the podcast, 
I thought I was only going to go up to episode 100, and here we are, 401. It's almost like, do I know when the end is going to be? I do not, but I can tell you how it's going to look in the future. And the future is going to be, of course, unknown. We don't necessarily know what type of topics. We don't know what type of personalities, what type of wars that are going to influence a huge amount of change. Maybe even technology might be different. But what I can tell you is that the mindset can be resilient regardless of time. Because if we know anything about a rock, right, or a mountain, a mountain can be moved. A pebble at a time, maybe over years of a wave hitting it, washing it away, and eventually it erodes. But the mind has an opportunity to grow at the onset of hardship. For example, if we think about the steel making process, it's literally just the folding process that reinforces the metal to steel. We are all about helping people in so many different aspects. I mean, when I tell people like the true reason behind coaching in session, they're like, that's brilliant. And then when I have other people on who maybe have podcasts, they learn from the podcast, or they say there's no other podcast doing it like this. Now, I will say there are other podcasts that do personal development, that do interviews of other wonderful people that talk about personal development, growth, prosperity. Yes, that is true. But yet, when they do it in a way, they do it in a way that, oh, we are just kind of going with the flow. We're going with whoever next was booked. And for me, I have full reign in who I can put in, and I put them in the best and most opportune times. And I do try to give different flavors, even if I have a guest on, and let's say they're a mediocre guest, a five out of 10, right? They're nothing special, but they have something that maybe we haven't talked about on the podcast. This is a platform for them too, because we do want to give ourselves as much information instill ourselves with as much wisdom from other individuals, and then maybe even learn from their experiences so we don't necessarily have to go through all the hardships that they have gone through. And if you are any bit like me, we learn from wisdom, or I learn from wisdom. And if you can learn from wisdom, you're going to be in a better place. And I think about wisdom in the sense of when we were younger, my dad would sit us on the sofa, he would just talk to us, he would preach to us, he would just talk to us about the world about life, about money, whatever it was, it would be like a two-hour conversation. I remember one time my mom had went out grocery shopping. We were there with our father. Our dad sat us down on the sofa, and there's three of us. It was my brother, my sister, and I, and we were just there, and we were just listening. Like We didn't have a choice. We couldn't get up. We couldn't play video games. We couldn't do anything. We just had to sit there and listen. When my mom got home that day, my mom said to my dad, You still have him there sitting down, listening to you. And then I forget what he says exactly, but he was like, yes, I do. So something just like that, right? And then he kind of wrapped up and then I think we had to go to bed or something. So it was an awesome opportunity for us to learn wisdom at an early age. And then I began to seek wisdom from other individuals, mentors, coaches, anyone who had more experience than me. It didn't matter about age. I might be young to some people, and people might say, you don't know anything about life, and that is true. All I know is I know nothing. Socrates, one of the greatest philosophers in the world. We don't know anything that we don't know, and if we say all we know is nothing, then we can always be lifetime learners. And for the people who fail to be lifetime learners, or for the people who fail to understand that they can make a huge change in your life by simply applying some of these concepts that we talk about today or we talk about on the podcast, you are going to be in a better position long term. For the people who decide to keep on with the easy road, to keep on doing what they're doing, they're going to have more difficulties later in life because they think they're doing the right thing, but they're following in the sense of maybe I'm seeking knowledge only. Maybe I'm doing what's trending versus what I feel to be what other people have done. And maybe this is going to be in the era of, I'm going to learn from history, I'm going to learn from wisdom, apply it today in the present so my future can be better. One of the reasons why parents pass the baton to their kid, and one of the reasons why parents say this, and the saying is, I want my child to have a better life than I had. Maybe the parent does everything to sacrifice for that child, and then 
maybe if you have three, one out of three is going to be able to make it, be able to make a huge impact in the world and in the family, call them the black sheep per se. They break that generational curse. This right here, this podcast is not only about breaking those generational curses, it's about how to keep them away. This is a difficult concept for many people to understand if I don't tell them that because they don't understand that this podcast is going to be around for not only them to listen to, but for their kids to listen to. And then they can say, if we listen to this wisdom and you get this wisdom at an early age. So let's say when you're listening to this episode of the podcast, let's say you're 25. And then when you have kids at 35, maybe you say, you know what? I'm going to let my kids listen to this podcast at 15. They're already 10 years ahead of you now with wisdom. Now you can not let them listen to the podcast and you can instill the wisdom that I have given you that I've shared with you with them by yourself. That is perfectly acceptable. But sometimes when a child reaches a certain age, mom and dad kind of turn off. So even with myself, my dad will lecture us, give us all the wisdom. But then after, you know, I was 15, 16, 17, I was like not having the pops, you know, I'm doing my own thing, rebellion stage hit. And it wasn't until I was maybe 18, 19, I started to learn from other mentors, other older people who have done what I wanted to do. And they were able to give me some wisdom, some feedback on how I was thinking and I was able to adjust. And eventually I was able to go back and meet my father and say, you know what, this is who I was. This is who I I became. But then I learned that you're going to retract to it. And parents, they do have to give an opportunity to the children during that rebellion phase because it's only a moment. But yet that moment can last a lifetime if not done correctly. So this right here is not only going to be something that any parent can share with their children in the next 10 years, but it's also something that I can share with my family for generations to come. The podcast is going to be there. All the videos are going to be there. And so they can choose to listen to dad or grandpa or great grandpa, whatever generation it is, and learn from the wisdom. Now, there is going to be an aspect of outdated technology, as I said, and then there's going to be the aspect of changing mindsets because the mindset that we have today is our generational mindset. It is going to be talking about our belief system, what is possible. But I do do my best to stay neutral because I can work with anyone all over the world at any age and I can identify where they are, what they want to do just from simple conversation. And then we develop a plan of something that they would be excited to go after. If you can figure out how to do that aspect, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You're going to be making a huge change and a developmental upgrade in your life, your community, family, friends everything is going to have a positive effect. And it all stemmed from mindset. It all stemmed from you understanding that you could make a change, that you can make a change. There are going to be teachers in your life, maybe even some adults, family members that are going to look down on you, that are going to maybe have a bad taste in your life. And what you have to do with those people is not only love them, but appreciate them because we're not looking for perfection in life. I don't want people to think that if you listen to this podcast, everything is going to be perfect. I want you to have hard moments in your life because those hard moments make you better. I want you to fail because if you go through that failure, you're going to seek success. Many people who stop at failure will always have that as their end final mark. But yet in life, we get to retake the test every single moment. If we fail one time, we could try again. We can try tomorrow. We can try in a week. We could try in a year. But as long as you keep on trying and you don't give up, there is no final mark for you. And you can get all the way to A, A plus, whatever is the max, and you get to decide. Do you want to stop there? Do you want to maintain? Or do you want to elevate to new heights? For some people, they just want just enough. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with living a humble lifestyle. When it comes to lifestyle, when it comes to success, You get to decide that. But what I want you to walk away with and what I want you to understand for the next 100 episodes of the podcast is when you have the option to walk away or to walk towards something that's going to be difficult, understand it's just elevating your mindset 
to a different way of thinking. If you can think more positive, if you can be more proactive, more disciplined, I mean, there's so many aspects to mindset that you have to master that is not only, oh, as long as I meditate, as long as I go to the gym, as long as I do this, you are going to be fine. No, no, no. It it is not that, people. I mean, I can't tell you how many people who say they have good, strong mindsets, but then they break at the onset of struggle. The moment something hard happens in their life, something difficult happens, but they break. We must be fortified to the sense that if something happens in our life, can we rebound and how quick can we rebound? Grief can stop us. Fear can stop us. Uncertainty and stress and anxiety can stop us. But yet, if we remain willed and we remain strong, we can keep on pushing through any hardship, through any turmoil. The obstacle is us sometimes. As I begin to continue with coaching and session for this next chapter, this next 100 episodes, I'm excited for episode 500. 500 just has a nice ring to it. 300 had a nice ring to it. I think I did like the whole Spartan Warrior thing as that episode I had my brother on. And it was a great episode because we not only talked about, well, mindset, going on, creating a mindset, creating a legacy. We talked about the possibilities and understanding that everyone is going to be different because at the end of it, we all want growth, prosperity, happiness, abundance, a good life that we can all look back and say, I lived. I lived a good life. And if you can't say that today, what are you going to do to make the change? To get to the point that if you passed away today, can you say that you are truly happy? Can you say that you truly lived to the fullest? And if the answer is no, what's stopping you from getting to that yes? What's holding you back from pushing a little bit more today and then creating the discipline to push more each and every day? And then to get to the level of mastery of pushing yourself. And if you're not at that point where in life you can say at the end of it, I'm happy I lived, then there's something else for you to do today. You might have to get a coach. You might have to keep on listening to get the answer. You might have to find someone who's going to help you along the way. Whatever it be, understand that you could do great things in your life. What stops people often in life is themselves. So don't be the person that's stopping you from living more in your life. If you want to make a change, make the change today. Don't wait for a perfect moment. Don't wait for tomorrow. Now is the day you take action. Today can be the day that you have a successful podcast, that you have a successful business, that you have a successful marriage. Whatever you want can be that. It might take 400 episodes. It might take 400 days. It's not going to take 400 years. We can keep on trying until we win. So if you're willing and you're able, keep on trying, keep on pushing, and keep on challenging the limits that are within you. With all that being said, let me be of service on your journey for betterment, self-improvement, and an overall better life. For a limited time until May 1st, 2024, any new or existing client that mentions this episode will receive 50% off. This is a limited time deal. I do not do this. This is something that I want to do to give back to my longtime listeners and to new clients that maybe have been on the edge. I know finances can be pretty tight and I understand the financial commitment involved, but with this 50% off, you're going to be able to get the coaching that you need to get the life that you deserve. I'll see everyone on the next episode and I'll be talking to all the new clients that are ready to sign up for this limited time deal.